Hi everyone, Jamie McDonald, Olympus Visionary Photographer here. Today I'm going to discuss using Nick Software's Viveza plugin. I have a portrait that I want to enhance. I like my portraits to have a lot of separation between subject and background, and in this case I used an f1.8 aperture 75mm lens from Olympus, and that gives me great shallow depth of field separation. But I want my subject to pop a little bit more. So I'll use color separation and tonal separation to achieve that, and I can do that using the Viveza plugin. We'll start off by choosing the image, and we can edit it right within Lightroom using the Viveza plugin, but I'm going to instead export it into Photoshop and use the Viveza plugin in Photoshop because I'll be doing some additional enhancements later that will require Photoshop and not Lightroom. We've got our image open now in Photoshop. And you can tell from looking at this that we were shooting into the sun, and I shot this wide open at f1.8 using Olympus's 75mm f1.8 on the OMD. That gives me the shallow depth of field that a lot of people prefer, and that gives you great separation to keep your subject and focus and your background locked out. But I want to do more than just use depth of field to give that separation, so I'm going to use Viveza to do that. And I go to my filters menu, and I open up Viveza from there. Right in front of us, we've got our working window, lower right. We've got our loop. And then above that, we've got the tools we're going to be working with. And you'll notice that I'm set right over the top of something that says Add Control Point. The control points are the power of Viveza. And actually, with a lot of Nick's software, you get these control points. We'll touch on that in another video. We'll add our control point, and you can see it gives us this circle that we're going to work in. Wherever you place that circle, You'll see over here to the right, we've got our color picker. The color that's in that picker is where you placed your control point, and those colors are what you're going to be affecting when you go through and you make your micro adjustments in Viveza. And you can see right now we've got four of them. We've got a brightness slider, we've got a contrast slider, one for saturation, one for structure, and we've got a drop down arrow that if we click that and it expands, you can see that we've got a lot more that we can work with shadow adjustment, warmth, our red, green, and blue channels, and hue, so you can see that you can do a lot using this software. I tend to just keep it pretty simple, and I'll work with the four initial sliders that you're presented with when you add a control point. So for this image, I want to get my subject to pop. I want that separation deeper and more pronounced. So for me, I think I'm going to go in, and I'll tone down the brightness a little bit. I know it's sunset and we got that warm light and it's all blown out and everybody likes that Instagram-y kind of look, but I don't want that. I want to darken things up a little bit. I tend to shoot dark. So I'll drop my brightness slider down a little bit. And once I've got the percentage set that I want to use, if I hit Command D on the Mac keyboard, it'll duplicate that exact control point that I made and then I can drag that to another area. And if you watch the color picker as I do this, every time I drag that to a new spot, I'm grabbing another set of colors that I'm going to tone down. And I'll work my way around the image, and I'll create that separation that I want of subject against background. And I know some people look at this and say, oh, it looks like a vignette. Well, it's a lot more detailed than a vignette. A vignette is just a blanket darkening around your subject. Whereas with this, I'm controlling not just brightness and darkness and contrast, but I'm actually doing it on a color basis. And speaking of color, the post that's behind my subject, I, there's some detail in there that I really want to kind of bring out. I like to have a little more interest in my pictures than maybe just the subject. I like people's eye to be able to wander through it. And I see some green moss growing on this post that I want to enhance. So I'll, thre I'll throw a control point on there. And maybe I'll darken that green up a little bit. And I'll bump up the contrast and boost the structure to bring out the graininess in it. And once I get it how I like it, I can duplicate that control point and I'll drag that to other areas on this post so that we can kind of bring out a lot of the detail in that post. Again, adding more interest to the scene. And there, once we get the post how we like it, I'm going to go back through and I think I'm going to start working on my subject a little bit. As stated earlier, his hood's a little washed out because I used a fill flash. I want to darken that back up and bring it back to the black that it was when I was there. So I'll add a control point. 
I'll drop the size of it down to where I'm just working with the hood that I want to work with. And now I'll lower the brightness down. I like the darkness that I've achieved, and I'll duplicate that control point and move it throughout his sweatshirt so that we can bring back some of the richness of the black that was present there and not washed out by the flash. The subject has brilliant blue eyes. Why not enhance those? So we'll add a control point there. We'll dial down the size of that control point so that we're not affecting anything that might have a little bit of blue in it outside of that area. We'll bump the brightness up some. We'll boost the contrast. You know the routine. We'll make it pop. We'll duplicate it. We'll add it to the other eye. And there you go. It's really that easy. I mean, there's other ways to maybe accomplish this, but I think it's a lot faster using the Viveza plugin than it would be to do it in multiple layers in Photoshop. I don't like how the inside of the hood stands out so much. It's too bright. Let's darken that up a little bit. Again, the fill light from the flash made that brighter than I really prefer it to be. little fine-tuning on the background. And there it is. We'll click OK to apply it. Hopefully your computer's a little faster than mine. And once it's done, we'll be able to toggle back and forth so we can see the before and after. And the cool thing about the Nick filters is that they apply them on a separate layer in Photoshop, so it's non-destructive. And there you have it. There's the finished product. Um, we'll turn it off so that you can see the before. And there's the after. I mean, the proof is right in front of you. I mean, Viveza is powerful. It's quick and easy. Anybody can use it. And this is just one example of how you can use it. Again, I use it in landscape. I use it in portrait. I've used it in product photography. The, the uses are limitless for this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this screencast. And stay tuned, there will be more coming up on Small Camera Big Picture. You guys take care.